name is Scott Schuby. I'm Senior Director of Marketing and Business Development in the Silicon Photonics Group at Intel. And I'm here to talk about integrated silicon photonics for high bandwidth data center connectivity. Later in this presentation, I'm going to talk about a number of future applications for silicon photonics integration technology. First, let's take a look at where silicon photonics is today. For years, silicon photonics was seen as a far future technology. But silicon photonics has really hit the mainstream and is shipping in high volume into multiple datacom applications today. What's shown here on this slide is a prime example. Shown here is a 100 gig CWM4 optical transceiver based on Intel silicon photonics technology. This product has shipped over 5 million units into the market in both cloud, enterprise, wireless, and transport applications. You can see the picture shows some the inside of the module, including the silicon photonics transmitter chip, which integrates monolithically four lasers, four modulators, an optical multiplexer, monitor photodiodes, and other control and output coupling functionality on a single CMOS die. The receive path is a separate pick with four speed high speed uh, four high speed photodiodes. Um, this product has a number of different variants from both OCP flavor, a two kilometer MSA flavor to 10 kilometer or 4WDM10, and over a wide temperature range from minus 40C to 85C. This product has shipped high volume, but has also shipped and established industry leading reliability and quality uh, with a fit of about two for the laser and around 30 dppm for the module. This is one example of silicon photonics products that are shipping in high volume to the market today. Silicon photonics platform is also supporting 200 gig and 400 gig optics that are also in production and shipping in volume now. When we talk about silicon photonics, really we're talking about integration, optical integration. So this slide shows on the left, a traditional gold box type of 100 gig optical transmitter with a number of different piece parts, monitor photodiodes, optical multiplexer, modulators, lasers, and lenses, all different piece parts inside a high-end hermetically sealed gold-plated box. And a traditional approach, all of these are separate piece parts that need to be precision placed next to each other, optically aligned with each other, and then epoxied in place. Intel Silicon Photonics approach, in contrast, integrates those all monolithically onto a single chip. So this is an actual 100 gig optical transmitter pick, and the blown up view shows where the, all those functionality sits on the die. The multiplexer, the modulators, the monitors and controls, and the lasers and monitor photodiodes. So integrating those functions all together onto a single chip improves manufacturability, scalability, and reliability, as I was talking about in the prior slide. The optics integration that silicon photonics technology enables can help scale optics bandwidth in new and interesting ways. So this slide shows a few different ways in which optics bandwidth can be scaled. One way is to just add more channels at the existing line rate, whether that be adding more fibers in the case of 100 gig DSM-4 or 800 gig DR8 or parallel optics, adding more wavelengths as in the case of 100 gig CWM-4 or 400 gig FR-4. Another way is to go faster per channel by going at a higher baud rate. And a third way is to use more advanced modulation formats and send more than one bit per bit period, as in the case of PAM4 or QAM. Traditionally in optics, the imperative has always been to serialize as much as possible. In other words, to scale bandwidth by reducing the number of channels and going as fast as possible per channel as the cost of adding more channels, whether it be fibers or wavelengths, was always cost prohibitive. Silicon Photonics integration changes this trade-off between optics options. It enables scale out options to add more channels reliably and manufacturably and cost effectively, as well as scale up options to go faster per channel. This slide shows a couple of examples of silicon photonics integration technology enabling next generation bandwidth scaling. So on the top is a 1.6 terabit per second, 16 by 100 gig, silicon photonics transmitter pick. 
This has on-die integrated lasers and photo detectors. It has ring resonator modulators, mode converters and V-grooves for output coupling. And all of that functionality is monolithically integrated onto a single transmitter pick that we have demonstrated successfully. The bottom showcases our WDM technology. So on the first slide, I showed a 100 gig CWM4 module that has incorporated silicon photonics WDM technology and is shipping in volume in the market today. But that technology doesn't stop at four channels or at 25 gig per lane. What's shown here is an 8 by 100 gig silicon photonics pick that's suitable for 2 by 400 gig products that are starting to be deployed in the market this year. This is also monolithically integrated eight channel WDM technology, which could enable two by 400 gig FR4 or two by 400 gig LR4 on two fiber pairs in a single module for interoperability with the installed base. Or we've also demonstrated eight wavelengths in a single integrated TX pick as shown on the right here on a CWDM grid for maximum fiber efficiency. We've combined the photonic integration that I talked about on the prior slide with high density packaging integration to produce a co-packaged optics tile as shown on this slide. This is a 1.6 terabit per second capable optical tile that is 25 millimeters per side, so a very small high density package. You can see it here in comparison next to a 100 gig QSFP28 module as 40 times the bandwidth density of a QSFP28 as well as uh, better energy efficiency or lower power per bit. This is an active development towards a product intercept for co-packaged optics at 3.2 terabit per second uh, per module for use with 51T switches in, a, in, in compliance and alignment with the OIF standards effort in the industry. This module has a high speed, high density LGA socket on the bottom that's compatible with a low power XSR electrical host side channel. That also enables yield and testability. So we can test at the engine or tile level to have a known good tile that goes on to later stages of the manufacturing process. This also allows, the socketed approach also allows system configurability at manufacturer time to enable hybrid switch systems with both optics and copper, with different types of optics or with different optics vendors in the same system. This integration technology is shown here and on the prior slide, not only supports co-packaged optics, but can support next generation high density pluggable optics as well. The Intel co-packaged optical tile that I showed in the prior slide was also integrated into a demonstration switch design. In March of 2020, we demonstrated this uh, at a system level. This demonstration system uses a barefoot Fino2 12.8T Ethernet switch ASIC with co-packaged optics engines around it. Um, half of the bandwidth of the switch in this demonstration came out through co-packaged optical engines, and half of the bandwidth was taken out through flyover copper cables to QSFP DD cages on the front plate of the switch. This is an air, fully air-cooled design and was operating, passing ethernet traffic, interoperating with other ethernet switches in the lab and running error-free. Now, shifting gears back to pluggable optics for a minute, Silicon Photonics is also capable of supporting higher channel count and higher bandwidth pluggable optics. So shown here are 800 gig DR8 or 2 by 400 gig DR4 and 2 by 400 gig FR4 optical modules. Both of these are in active development using the same Silicon Photonics integrated technology that I've been showing up to now. And on the right are shown eye diagrams from all eight channels of a 800 gig DR8 optical module that's sampling now. Integrated silicon photonics technology is also capable of scaling to support even higher density pluggable optics, whether it be 1.6 terabit pluggable optics, 3.2 terabit pluggable optics, etc. So up to now, I've been talking primarily about scaling out by adding more channels using silicon photonics integration technology. The Silicon Photonics platform is also very high performance and is perfectly capable of scaling up as well, going to higher bandwidth or higher speed per lane. So shown here are some early results at 200 gig per lane. On the top left is shown the ring modulator itself. 
On the lower left is shown a normalized electro-optic response showing the bandwidth of the ring modulator. That's showing excellent numbers out past 50 gigahertz. On the top right is shown a simulated 224 gig PAM4i using this ring modulator. And on the bottom right are shown early 200 gig per lane measurement results, which we'll add to as we go. Now, as we look into the future, we can see a number of different processor-to-processor -processor optical I.O. applications enabled by integrated silicon photonics technology as well, whether it be GPU, TPU, IPU, or CPU. Silicon photonics technology can enable very, very high bandwidth, at one terabit per second or more per fiber, can enable reach that's orders of magnitude better than copper, can enable shoreline densities that are much better than current PCIe Gen 6, for example, better energy efficiency, lower power per bit than PCIe Gen 6, and latency that's comparable to electrical I.O. So this can enable a number of new applications in the future for high-speed accelerators, high-bandwidth memory, and other high-bandwidth I.O. applications using optics. So in summary, Silicon Photonics today is already a mature, high-volume platform we are shipping 100 gig pluggable transceivers based on silicon photonics at over 2 million units per year, and we've shipped over 5 million units to date. 200 gig and 400 gig optics are in production and starting to ship in volume today based on silicon photonics, and 800 gig DR8 optics are sampling now. Integration in high yield 300 millimeter CMOS gives scale advantages, performance advantages, and industry leading reliability as well. Silicon photonics integration technology is also essential for future applications that need higher density optics, including 1.6 terabit and 3.2 terabit pluggable and co-packaged optics for future switch infrastructure deployments. Silicon photonics is also a key platform for future applications in XPU optical IO, enabling scalability in bandwidth and reach. Thank you everyone for listening. And if anyone has any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at the email address shown.